All right, it's now time for the great search for DigiKey. Thank you, DigiKey, okay. for helping us get the word out about all the ways to find things that you need. Lady Ada, take it away. Okay, so this is actually going to be um, part lesson um, and part advice. So as I mentioned, I'm doing uh, a CAN bus transceiver, and I'm using uh, this chip that will convert our, my 3-volt RX and TX into differential CAN high and low. But... I need to generate some sort of 5 volt uh, signal, uh, sorry, 5 volt power supply that I will use to reference the signal. Now, the first thing you do when you're trying to figure out what power supply you're going to use is if you're going to have to figure out how much current do I have to be able to supply, right? If I'm going to have to supply 3 amps versus 10 milliamps, that's going to totally change what I decide on picking. Um, so let's quickly look at um, the schematic. So this is the CAN transceiver. Um, I have the RX and TX lines. This is my 5 volt power line for the uh, for the CAN transceiver signal. 3 volt for the logic reference for RX and TX. So you'll see here, one thing that's interesting about CAN is it has this 120 ohm um, terminator on one of the pins. Uh, sorry, on one node between the high and low um, CAN bus lines. And this is actually like quite a bit of resistance. So we want to make sure that, and that kind of dominates the amount of current that you're going to need. So let's figure out how much current that is. So 5 volts divided by 120. So, you know, 42 uh, milliamps. Let's double that because you don't want to be too close to the edge because, of course, you're going to, there might be other resistances, there might be capacitance you have to charge up and down. Let's give it a little bit of a headroom. So let's say 100 milliamps, at least 80, right? I like to double it, at least 80 milliamps. Now, when you're talking about a boost converter and you, you need a fixed voltage and the amount of current you need is very low and it's a kind of like a more of a reference voltage, you might actually want to look at, and especially if it's like close to about twice the voltage input, so 3.3 up to about 5, I actually suggest going for a charge pump converter, not a boost converter. A boost converter um, requires an inductor, it can require a uh, diode, um, it just can generate a little bit more EMI. I really like charge pumps. So let's go spec out a charge pump on DigiKey. You can see I've like Googled what's the CAN bus current draw. And everyone's like, yeah, basically about 100 uh, milliamps. So, um, let me just get that away. Well, okay. Get rid of you for a second or? No, no, this is great. He's, he's, everything's gone. fine. Yeah. So let's search for a uh, charge pump. Sounds like a shoe, but it's it's not. It's actually a uh, it's a kind of converter. So you'll see there's actually a lot of voltage regulators, switching controllers, LED drivers. I will say once in a while, look at the LED drivers. You'd be surprised. Sometimes I see a good boost converter in there. Um, there's controllers. Controllers are going to be dif different than um, regulators. Uh, these switching controllers usually need to have some external drive, like a like it drives a MOSFET or something. Um, we want the regulators because the regulators will actually not only do the boosting, but also give you that clean output, right? Because the charge pump doubles, then you need to regulate down to 5 volts. Okay, so we're here. So as usual, I'm going to click on active. So that gets rid of about half. And then I'm going to go for normally stocking. And I'm also going to go to Rojas compliant. So that means it's, you know, lead free. So it's, I have a lead free process at Adafruit. So that makes sense for me. I want normally stocking because I want to be able to get more of this. Um, and uh, here I want to click more filters because I want to see more options here. I want a fixed output because I want the cheapest, simplest, easiest thing. And I want one output only. Apply the filters. Um, I want, it says positive or negative, but I definitely don't want negative, so I'm going to select, you know, the positive versions. And then I want surface mount. So I'm kind of doing all the easy ones, right? Get the easy ones out of the way because I've already, you know, you, the number is very scary at first, like 3,000 items, but then you quickly get down to 500. Um, for the output, um, I want a fixed output of 5 volts. Like sometimes you want, you know, to be able to tweak the voltage around, you want adjustable. In this case, I don't. I really just want 5. And you'll note there's a couple of voltages that if you're using these voltages, you'll be able to get a fixed output. Saves you two resistors, saves you some complexity. It's like set it and forget it. 
So if you're doing 1.8, 2.5, 3, 3.35, 3, 5, 5.5, 5, 12, very common voltages, you can often pick a fixed voltage output. For the current, remember we uh, calculated how much current we need. We, it's going to be at least 40 milliamps, right? Um, when activated, and I said at least 100 would, would cover us. So I'm just gonna scroll and, and get everything, right? I don't want anything under 100, I want 100 milliamps and up. Um, okay, cool. And now we got it. So here's all the charge pumps. So kind of like, you know, I can do things like packaging. Well, I want it to be small. I don't want SOIC. So you see, I, I click and drag to select everything with eight pins or less. And then I option click to get rid of SOIC because SOIC would be like way too big. Um, voltage input. Well, my input's 3.3, .3, so it's good. All of these are valid. Um, the max, all of these are valid. Synchronous rectifier doesn't really affect me. So then um, there's two things I like to do. I like to look at what has the most pieces. So it looks like people really like this LTC 3204, which is a charge pump fixed 150 milliamp output. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit uh, uh, more selective on pricing uh, because that's what's important to me. So one thing to make it a little easier to do the price calculation is I select tape and reel. So I only get like the uh, at high quantity pricing because otherwise, again, you'll get tape reel, digi reel and tape and reel. They'll all come in like three times. You'll basically have like triple the amount of entries. So I've only got 21 options. Um, so the only thing about this is that this is like really kind of expensive, $2. Uh, I want something a lot less. So sorting by price um, upwards, we've got this little option. So this is nice. I'd like uh, you to mouse over to look at the package. Uh, SOT236 is very nice. It's a very simple, uh, easy to pick in place shape. They also have it, a uh, very similar one available in DFN but uh, it's not stopped right now. So let's check out this one. So one thing that's kind of cool that you'll find out if you use these charge pumps, there's actually like a standard pinout. So we've actually used multiple different charge pumps for um, our NeoPixel drivers over the years, and they're all like pin compatible. So you know if one is out of stock, you can actually quickly switch in a different one. So um, checking out the data sheet for this. It's pretty simple. The input is 2.8 to 5 volts. You see the capacitor on the input, capacitor on the output, uh, one small capacitor between two pins to help it do the charge pump, and there's an enable pin. It's like the easiest possible way to get about 100 milliamps out. And so that's what I've done on this design. You can see here. Um, this here is the charge pump. This is the capacitor across the two pins. Um, in this case, the part number I'm using is the AP3602, but it's pin compatible. So actually the AP3602 was discontinued. So I'll probably substitute in this MP9361. It's actually one of the nice things about uh, charge pumps. Most boost converters don't have pin to pin compatible versions, but charge pumps do. So this is my winner, the MP9361. I'm going to pick some of these up and I'm going to make sure that they work in my design and I'll get this Can Feather Wing, sorry, Can Feather M4 wrapped up and ready to ship. All right, with that, is a great search for DigiKey.